Peace everyone, I'm Mascart here and today I'm going to show you how to color this flower. I colored this flower as part of a workshop series for Colored Pencil Magazine and you'll be able to find the written version of this tutorial in the upcoming issue. I'll have a link below in the description along with the reference photo and line art. So before I begin, let me first mention the supplies I will be using. I will be using Prismacolor pencils on Strathmore Bristol Smooth paper and blending with Zestit. All right, so let's get started. Once you have your line art transferred to your paper, the first step will be to begin filling in the shadows. For this, I am using the Prismacolor 1069. I'm using a rather light pressure, just enough for the color to show up on the paper. Laying out these shadows early will help give the flower petals their subtle contours. Next, I'm going to use Prismacolor 1023 to give the shadows a bit of color. I consider this a toning color. Again, very light pressure, just enough to bring in a touch of blue into the shadows. After adding some blue, I'm going to add another toning color, which is 927. Now we are going to start warming things up by adding in some of the peach color into the petals, and again, light pressure. You also notice I use the color to start building some of the more defining features of the petals, most notably the orange stripes that run through the center of each petal. The next step is to start bringing in some real color. For this, I am using 916. I am applying it with a medium pressure as I want the color to really show up. This color has a bit more detail-oriented focus. As you can see, this color shows up on the tips of each petal and also at the base of each petal. Make sure you pay attention to the shapes this color makes. By this point, you may have noticed this flower has quite a bit of white in its petals. This makes it more of a challenge, especially since we're working on white paper. For this reason, before blending, I'm going to smooth my colors with some white. Don't do too much though, we want to leave room on the paper for more layers. So use no more pressure than when you applied the 916. For the next step, we will blend using solvent. Now I get so many questions about solvent, so I just want to take a moment to address them. The main question is always what solvent do I use? And the truth is up to this point, I've always just used what is cheapest and odorless. However, recently I've started using Zestit because not only is it inexpensive and odorless, but it's also good for the environment. Also, don't use baby oil. Uh, I hear this a lot, uh, I get it a lot in comments and questions about whether or not I use it. Baby oil will discolor your paper. Um, we're drawing, not greasing up fetuses. I'm using my trusty number eight round brush. Literally nothing special about this brush. I've used the same brush for the past four years to blend every one of my colored pencil drawings. Be sure not to oversaturate your brushes with solvent. I am also using the brush to make the petals crisp and clean around the edges. The next step will be to bring in some of the brighter orange color using 921. Not a lot of pressure will be needed here, but just like the yellow, pay attention to the shapes this color makes on each petal. Be sure you are coloring in the direction of the contours. This helps hide the pencil strokes. And again, we will softly blend this color into the rest of the petal. Remember to blend with the contours. Maintaining good pencil and brush discipline goes a long way, and it is a very good habit to get into. For the next step, we will add 9 to 5 to the petals. Use this color to add in the subtle texture of the petals. Keep the pencil sharp and use a light pressure, letting the color build up slowly so you don't overdo it. The next step is adding the spots to the petals using 931. If you've done the previous layers correctly by not using too much pencil pressure, you should have no problem getting your spots to show up. Do not complete this step until you are completely finished with the base colors for the petals. You don't want to have to work around all these spots later. The next step is to fill in all those blank stems. To do this, start with the 916 and then layer over that with the 921, 
then finally use the 925 to define some of the darker areas near the bottom. The next step is to just give the stem a quick blend to get rid of all of the pencil grain. Remember, don't oversaturate your paper with a lot of solvent. Let your brush dry a little bit. You should only be using the smallest amount of solvent to get your pencils smooth. The final step is to go back to the 931 color and add the last bit of texture to the stems. I use this color to add some contrast to the bottoms of the stem as well as adding the little fuzzy texture at the tops. You can draw small lines or just stipple in some dots to give that fuzzy texture. All right, everyone, there you have it. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, let me know by commenting below and giving the video a thumbs up. Feel free to ask me questions and leave your suggestions for future tutorials and subscribe so you don't miss out. Also, make sure you check out Colored Pencil Magazine over on Patreon because for just a $3 pledge, you get the digital version of each month's issue, including the issue that contains this tutorial. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you're interested in learning more about colored pencils or pastels, come join me and many others over on my Patreon page where I do live demonstrations and tutorials every week. Hope to see you there.